Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, Union City, Western, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East St. Augustine. My experimental discovery was that a massively parallel supercomputer can solve 65,536 initial boundary value problems of modern mathematics and computational physics and solve all those problems at the same time instead of solving them one problem at a time. That experimental discovery occurred at 10.15 a.m. New York time, Tuesday the 4th of July of 1989. That experimental discovery made the news headlines in 1989 because it was the first successful noteworthy calculation to be executed across an ensemble of 65,536 processors and executed in a manner that demonstrated that massively parallel processing is not a huge waste of time. In other words, I experimentally discovered that the fastest speeds in supercomputing can only occur when and where the calculations are evenly distributed across the most number of processors that will also be executing the same number of computational physics codes. In 1989, the available technology limited my parallel processing experiments to across an ensemble of 64 binary thousand processors. However, I proved theoretically that extreme scale computational physics codes could be executed 64 binary billion times faster and executed across an ensemble of 64 binary billion processors. That experimental discovery of how massively parallel processing works cannot be fully explained as sound bites on television. That experimental discovery of a new supercomputer that encircled a globe and encircled it in the manner the internet encircled a globe cannot be completely described in a 140 character tweet. Nor can it be described in an 18 minute TED talk. Nor can I fully explain in a 90 minute lecture my massively parallel processing supercomputing discovery. Since the early 1980s, I explained my experimental discoveries to research supercomputer scientists and I explained them in a series of research seminar lectures that I gave across the United States. Some of my massively parallel processing supercomputer lectures are posted on my website, emmaagwale.com. This lecture is only one part from my 1,001 research notes and lecture transcripts that, uh, that I posted at emmaagwale.com. It was for a good reason that I was the lone wolf researcher that was at the farthest frontier of the most massively parallel processing supercomputer ever built. The reason was that it was impossible 
to understand the massively parallel processing supercomputer and to understand it in less than 16 years of full-time training across the disciplines of mathematics, physics, and supercomputing. It will be impossible for you to understand my experimental discovery of how and why massively parallel processing makes computers faster and how and why the technology makes supercomputers fastest. It will be impossible for you to understand massively parallel processing supercomputers and to understand supercomputers without also experimentally and experimenting and programming supercomputers. For me, Philip Emma Aguale, I understood supercomputers after I had programmed supercomputers for the 16 years onward of June 20, 1974. I programmed 16 supercomputers in those 16 years and I programmed those supercomputers as a lone wolf programmer. Along your way to the farthest frontier of supercomputing, you will also spend the budget of a small nation and spend it to purchase the fastest supercomputer in the world that you must program to perhaps experimentally discover the fastest computation and discover it with a paradigm shift that was previously considered impossible. It took me 16 years, onward of June 20, 1974, to understand and to experimentally discover how and why parallel processing makes supercomputers faster Therefore, it will be impossible for you to understand in 60 minutes the technology of parallel processing that took me 16 years to understand and took me 60 years to articulate in this lecture of today. My experimental discovery of massively parallel processing it's not similar to seeing a painting. To deeply understand the most massively parallel processing supercomputer that cost the budget of a small nation is not similar to reading a novel that costs $10. The difference between a painting and a novel and the new internet that I invented is that you can get the big picture of a painting in one minute. Get the big, the big story of a novel in one day. But you cannot completely understand how a grand challenge technological problem such as traveling to the moon was solved and understood. Was solved and understood and understand that lunar exploration in one lifetime. You cannot completely understand how to travel to the moon and go to the moon alone and understand it in a century. Insightful and brilliant lecture.